Welcome to uh, Joe Sinich from Meddlesome Moth in the Dallas Design District. We're going to do something nice and fresh for this time of year. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we need to not use the oven right now. Yeah, <laughs> very happens. good point. Very good point. So let's make it nice and cool. And you have some beautiful looking watermelons there. I do. I've got a couple of watermelons. We picked a couple of things today from the uh, from the farmer's market. You can grab stuff from your grocery store. Want it to be light, nice and light and easy. Uh, don't want to be heating up the grill. Uh, and, of course, the Meddlesome Moth, we want to be pairing it with a beer. You know, we want to have something yeah, that is beer-friendly. Okay, what are we making? So we're going to make a little watermelon salad. I've got some red and yellow watermelon here from the farmer's market. And a lot this, of folks have never seen yellow yeah, watermelon. Yeah, where do you get this? Yeah, uh, you know, I did pick it up at just at the farmer's market on the way in today, but they should have it at most grocery stores will carry so it kind of in pieces. on the outside? That's actually one right there. Oh. So there, there you have it, yellow watermelon. Uh, now, in this jar, I've got just a little bit of uh, local honey. And so we're just going to make a quick vinaigrette, and this is a great trick for a homemade vinaigrette, knowing that you just need something to bind it, be it honey or mustard or an egg yolk, and then one part vinegar. We're just going to get that mixed together. That's just regular vinegar? This is actually a rice wine vinegar. So once that's all nice and dissolved in, the honey's dissolved, what the honey's going to do is it's going to help to bind the oil. So this is just canola oil, and you can do this in any mason jar and you're just streaming it in. And so what's happening is that honey is grabbing the vinegar and grabbing the oil and forcing them together into an emulsion, which will make kind of like a creamy vinaigrette even though there's no cream or dairy in it. Cooking is always science, but this is very scientific. Very scientific, but the great thing about this is that once you learn that ratio, that one to three ratio, you can pretty, make, pretty much make any vinaigrette at home and then add whatever other flavorings you'd like to it. It's kind of fun to play with some of the flavored uh, flavored vinegars and uh, and even olive oils now that you can find very easily. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you see just how, how creamy that has gotten in just a moment. So very handy with the little mixer. And then to that, to that base, we can add whatever we want. Today we're just going to add a little bit of ginger, some shallots, and just a touch of garlic, and then a whole bunch of green onions. And then just a little crack of black pepper and a pinch of salt. And you've got a vinaigrette that's full, full flavored and it's going to really pair nicely with that watermelon salad. Let's show off All right, the really quickly, the there we go. Here. And we've got a, a nice cheese on top of there. What have we got? So we've got ricotta salada, but you nice. could easily use feta or, uh, in this case, we have cotija here as well. Really, any crumbly kind of tangy cheese would be great. Got a recipe and a link to Meddlesome Moth on myfoxdfw.com. We'll be right back. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.